Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lee and you're watching Barham Engines. So, we're back. Here's the van, looking rather grubby. Um, my OCD side is um, he's playing havoc today with how grubby this is. I'm going to have to give that a good wash later on, even though the roads are still wet. But the kit car is back. Um, the trailer is back and washed. I'll tell you why we've washed that in a moment. Maybe not too good a news. Um, so we've got the kit car off. We had a fantastic weekend away at Castle Coombe, as you all know. Um, hope you all enjoyed our little special video yesterday of our day away. Really sorry about the, the car cam that we forgot. Next time we definitely won't forget that. So, um, so yeah, that's a little bit gutting. But yeah, as you can see, we had a great time. And better of all, uh, we got to meet some really nice people. I did say on the way up there to the boys, I wonder if anyone will, will recognise us because down in Perrinporf, the last couple of times we've gone, um, we've had a couple of people recognise who we are. We even had one couple come down to visit us from, um, from about sort of 30, 40 miles away and I couldn't believe that. But yeah, as soon as we got there, we got approached by one of the marshals and then later on in the day, another marshal, they, they're a, a subscriber and probably about another dozen people um, came over to say hello. There was um, a couple of guys that took a trip, one from Bristol, one from elsewhere, and, and one of the other guys sort of hung around with us most of the day, really. Um, so really, really happy about that, that, you know, more so that the channel is getting around, people are enjoying it, it's getting our name on the map. And um, yeah, I think doing these events with the, with the bright orange van and the kit car, it really is getting us noticed. And I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying the channel. Um, today, funnily enough, I've had a guy come up from Torquay to bring us an engine. Um, he's a subscriber, I had a good chat with him. It was lovely to meet him. And then lo and behold, I still can't get my head around this, but we had a chat come, he's come over to the UK from Sydney, Australia and he's driven all the way down here today to meet us uh, from Birmingham. So that's what, an eight hour round trip, just to have a cup of coffee and say hello and have a look round. So honestly, cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. It still seems really weird that people come down here just to shake me hand, but um, yeah, just goes to show that people are enjoying the channel, love it to bits. So the main reason for cleaning this trailer, not just to get a bit of road grub off it guys, is when we got back, um, I pulled the boards out there and there seems to be quite a lot of diff oil sitting on the surface of the trailer. Whether it's quite a lot or it's because it's wet and seems like a lot, but definitely a bit of diff oil leaking out of the thing. So we're going to have to get underneath it and have a look at that. Um, I still maintain that because of the angle that diff sits at, it's, we've overfilled it and it's coming out of the seal. Maybe when it gets a bit pressurised, I don't know yet, but we'll have a look at it. Um, but yeah, the thing ran absolutely faultlessly really apart from that you can see the last session actually when I went out thoroughly enjoyed it but we were pushing it a little bit harder and you can see now the tires are the tires are sort of starting to rip up so I think definitely they seem to work okay in the wet um, probably a lot better on this car than a set of semi slicks would so I think what the next step is for this is get us another set of wheels and um, and get some track tires on it and we can take these along in case it rains so otherwise we're just going to rip the hell out of them but yeah definitely in the dry on these big circuits will definitely benefit from some from some proper track tires um but yeah honestly guys had an absolute brilliant whale of a time really and um, the boys thoroughly enjoyed themselves and that's what it's all about got to meet some great people so yeah thoroughly enjoyed it so we've got one of our customers coming in to pick this cvh up in a bit um this is Rebore Reface. I said to you in, in the last video last week what we've done. So he's on his way over to pick this up. We've just had the pistons arrive Friday and John's put these on the rods already. So these are the non-circlip type, as you can see. So what you do is obviously press the old ones off and then you've got to heat up the small end on the rod. Um, so there's no obviously no bushes in there. Just heat up the rod and you've got about five seconds to get the pin in. Um, before it goes off and grips the pin. So once it cools down, the, the rod grips the pin and then the pin moves inside of the piston as opposed to the other way around. Um, so yeah, that's all done. Just waiting for him to turn up. So as you can see here, we've got the 4.2 Jag head. 
and Paul is halfway through putting the the bucket housing retainer kit in. Um, so like I've said to you before, you've got these pre-cut steel plates here that sort of grip. You've got one plate, does two bucket housings. Um, you've got to position it right and then drill and tap two holes and then sort of bolt them down. And what that does is that stops those buckets from shifting upwards into the camshaft and causing catastrophe. So he's halfway through that or pretty much there now. As you can see, we've got some serious swarf to, to clean up. We're gonna to have to give the heads a thorough clean. Um, but yeah, cracking on with that. So these are the two covers that I've completed, guys. The ones that I would do in Friday or started Friday. You know, I said once I'd machined these faces and got all the grooves out, they like them um, shot blasted afterwards. Well, that is what they look like when they're finished. You can see it's a nice smooth surface. That's how they like them. Um, so yeah. Saves, saves a very expensive cover, that does. Right guys, so Chris has just turned up with the CVH engine to pick that up. He's come all the way from Southampton. Um, so yeah, really nice to meet him again. Thank you very much for your custom, Chris, and let me know how that goes when you build it all back up. I'm sure you will. So first of all, guys, um, what we're gonna be trying to do, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna try and get hold of a few older customers and customers that we've done engines for on fairly special things and try our best to review those cars and go and have a go and look around the cars when the cars are all back up and running from when we've done the engine so that would be something really that we want to start introducing on the channel for you guys and um, so yeah look out for that in the next few months it's very difficult because a lot of our customers are all over the place and um and yeah, we're really busy at the moment, but we think it's gonna be very beneficial for the channel. And um, also it's great to catch up with, with people that we've done engines for to see how it's all going. So yeah, look out for that guys. And secondly, thumbnail and title. So this is gonna be the last bit on the Lamborghini saga with Lamborghini main dealer. Just to recap very briefly on the, the last couple of videos on the Lamborghini, uh, we were having fun and games, trying to get some sort of rock solid price quote estimate off Lamborghini once they already had my vehicle. It turns out compared to last year that they were being very, very vague as to not only the hourly rate um, or the amount of hours that needs to be spent on the car, but what actually needs to be done to the car. So. Yeah, it was absolutely baffling us um, as to the fact that they didn't know at all what needed to be done with the car. They couldn't itemise the, the parts. They just listed it as a, a, um, a parts kit. And um, yeah, they were just very vague compared to last year on the, on the hourly rate and the hours, really. So what they did while they had the car was come up with some sort of plan from here on. Um, as to what they're going to be doing with the car because obviously the car is 14 years old and now they're going to have to sort of revert back to the very beginning of the service book to see you know sort of make a plan as to how they're going to deal with it from now on because obviously it's an older car now it's not going to be exactly the same as when it was new but what they came up with was a, a four-year plan um, so in the meantime as I said in the last video we have got ourselves an independent specialist now, um, Ricky from RE Performance. And Ricky is gonna be looking after the car from here on. I did send him this four year plan that Lamborghini have come up with and he said, to be honest with you, it's a bit, it's all still a bit vague, you know. Um, they seem to be sort of, they're definitely making up the hours. Um, so this, what they've done is this year, they have put down as a 12 hour service. Uh, last year, which we hadn't had any problems with, they put down as a, um, a five hour service, but then they told me on the phone that it was gonna be an eight hour, but they charged me five hours, but at a higher hourly rate. They said that they were charging that hourly rate last year and they've knocked it down this year, whatever. I don't know, I'm lost. Um, so this year was gonna be the 12 hour service, which consists of um, the usual five hour service, um, except they were gonna do pollen filters and they were going to do a brake fluid change. So I give that to Ricky 
and he sent back um, a quote on doing exactly the same job and his come out at 3.8 hours and he said there's no service on that car providing there's no issues there's no service on that car that should take more than about a day so he's not sh quite sure where the 12 hours is coming from uh, but he's put down 3.8 hours I went to Lamborghini and said look this is what someone else has quoted and they said no it can't be done for that and I said well <laughs> I can't see, the guy specialises in him, I can't see why on earth he would quote me that if he's going to be doing himself out of a few hours. Doesn't make sense to me. He says that's how long it takes. They said they would knock it down to nine hours. Um, they've done a couple of little bits here and there, a bit cheaper because I've had a moan. But the reason for the thumbnail and title, guys, is a very sort of interesting one really because I mentioned to them originally you know I said in the previous video um, that they had sent me a a quote for another customer via email which they shouldn't have um, GDRP breach whatever I'm not quite sure um, I didn't mention any more about that all I did was mention it that this they had sent me this email um, wasn't using it against them but what I said was unfortunately you've this quote to this other customer was the, the same car as mine, the same service, yet you're charging him less. Um, why is this? Uh, so now we've got to the end of it, I think they've took that into consideration, the fact that they'd sent me this email and they were a bit nervous, to be honest with you. Um, so I think they've used that as a, as a sort of bargaining tool to knock down the price. Um, they seem to have given me about £400 cheaper than what they originally sort of estimated. Uh, but they are fixated with sending me emails about getting rid of the data that they'd sent me, which I'm, I don't know whether is, that's fair enough or, or whether it seems a little bit iffy that the, you know they keep sending me this, can you delete it, send us proof that you deleted it, this, that, the other. Well, the car was meant to be delivered back to me last Wednesday. I actually had a text message from the driver saying it was booked in to come back last Wednesday. Well, yeah, I still haven't had the car back. Um, I did state to them I was willing to pay the invoice regard, um, providing it was sensible, but it still hasn't been delivered back. And yet I had an email this morning saying, we want to see proof that the that this um, e these emails and proof of these emails and them sending me other customers quote is is gone. So yeah, they haven't released the car. Yeah, bit of an unusual one, guys. I don't know what you lot think about that. Please comment down below. Maybe you're going to say, yeah, just delete it. That's what they want. Um, but I just find it weird how they're withholding the car until I actually get rid of it. So yeah, bit of a strange one, that, guys. But yeah, hopefully we'll get that car back this week. And um, then we will be on the phone to Ricky regarding this new exhaust system. Um, and hopefully for next year... We shall get the car up there and um, get it fitted, see what it's all about. There's an engine down here, a Rover 100. So I don't know whether any of you have seen one of these before. Um, so this is a lot like the, you know, the slope top Land Rover blocks, except obviously it's a six cylinder. Uh, so this is a Rover 100 um, and the, the guy bought this up from Torquay today for us to rebuild. So yeah, never even seen one of these before. So really interested to get in amongst that. Um, and then we've had this one arrive, which is a four-wheel drive Cosworth engine, uh, 200 block. It's actually for an Escort Cosworth. Um, the chap bought the Escort, didn't really know much about them, uh, but it turns out that he's got actually got a 205 block in it and a two-wheel drive head in, a, in an Escort. So he's got sort of conned a little bit there, but he's bought this as a donor, meant to, be a, meant to have been all done. You know what it's like. Um, so he said, first of all, he's going to send it straight here from buying it, get us to strip it and do it properly. Um, so that's exactly what he's done. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting in amongst that, guys. See what disasters we find, if any. Well, there we go, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think of um, today's thumbnail and title saga. Been a bit of a crazy day, actually. I've been meaning to get out to, to see Rich at um, RCS Tuning, but that's another story. Uh, we've got a really good story coming up maybe on Wednesday's video of a letter that we've had today. Uh, so, yeah, look out for that, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. And until then, you have a lovely evening. Take care.